All right, guys, we are live. Oh, boy. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so my name is Robert Stiles. I am the broker principal of Revolution Realty Team here locally. And we're doing a community spotlight today. Good friend of mine, Jake Brummer, I've known for a very long time, but haven't yeah. connected with in a while. And it now he's got a partner in crime. Uh, this is great. Amy Winker. Winker. Yep. Yep. And for uh, now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and congrats, actually. They hey, uh, just got engaged, which yep. is incredible. What, Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Long time coming. That's incredible, man. Well, so basically this is kind of just uh, we're trying to, you know, show who's in our community, tell stories about who those people are so that we can find the people that we would love to do business with. And hey, man, it's like that's just what life's about, really. Community, yep. getting back to it, trying to bring it a little bit more local. It's easy to get lost online if you're not careful. So oh, yeah, you guys are definitely helping to solve that problem, <laughs> you know, in many ways. So let's start out with... Uh, you guys just opened up your third bar, right? Or third fourth. Step, fourth. Technically. fourth, technically, yeah. God, you guys are like on fire over there. Doratio decided the first one wasn't a good idea. Yeah. And which one was that? Kingston. That was our first bar on First Avenue, and the roof went flying, and it's now God. a parking lot. Damn. Yeah, seven, yep. we, seven we weeks had a, open. Yeah. Yeah. We That's, had a rough start. Yeah. <laughs> and that was literally the first thing you guys did together, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're like, okay, cool. Hurrah, we're, we're going to make it. You know, we're climbing uh -huh. up the mountain to see the view. And yeah, then all well, of a and coming out of show. COVID, yep. too. Yeah. Like no, COVID, that was right in the heart COVID of COVID. COVID was like still, yeah. Co yeah. So COVID was oh, like that was still mask really wearing. like in the heat yep. of things. Mm -hmm. God, man, that's that's intense. Okay, so that actually is kind of a nice segue in. Um, so w what was the feeling like? It's like, you know, you're – you're coming about this like, hey, we're going to open a bar. This is going to be great. We're really excited. And then, you know, not only have you guys not done this before together, it's like, what was the feeling like when, you know, the roof came mm -hmm. off? I mean, what was the emotional feeling like? How did you guys, you know, feel and how did you get past that to keep going? Well, for me personally, it was panic because I had just quit my job like two weeks prior. Yeah. Oh, God. Like I went all – she's – been in the bar business for like 15 years i just said like, screw it i'm quitting and then literally as soon as that decision was done the bar's gone <laughs> so it was like uh now what that's yeah. like a higher power just being like yo are you sure this yep. is what you want well yeah. and we had just like so we had just bought a house mm -hmm. and moved in like the beginning first of march Damn. And then we're like, okay, now we're, you know, he's working from home. And then St. Patty's happened when they shut everything down. Yep. So then I wasn't working at all. So he's working from home. I'm not doing anything because I can't bartend. And then we buy this bar and we're like, okay, we're back on our feet. Now we're good. And then boom, it's like mm -hmm. the roof's coming down on top of me. And <laughs> Did you just have a moment where you're like, I'm going to go cry for like oh, an yeah. hour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I was crying like in the yeah. middle of it. <laughs> I, I was too God. busy getting everything out of the bar. Yeah, it was, cr yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> it was well, crazy. three hours to get everything out. Yeah. What a crazy deal. So, okay, so let's fast forward just a little bit. Like, yeah. how long did it take you to get to the place where you're like, all right, I'm ready to lean in again and try to, you know, get to the next project? Well, we, we didn't have many options after that happened and the old red frog was empty and we thought we had the right people on our side and we got in there and that one of the four that we've been involved in so far i love czech village but that one uh czech village is tough especially after the 08 flood that neighborhood is gone for the most part, that used to surround totally that place. Now. Yeah, it is. And it's just, uh, you know. We well, and you have certain places down there that are really, really doing well. And it's yeah. like, that's kind of like their staple. And, right. you know, you go down there and everybody knows, yeah. like, this is yeah. where I'm going. 
So to come in there as something, com- you know, new kids I mean, we were new block. kids on the block, really. So it's yeah. like we come in there and everyone's like, oh, well, we go here, we go here. And this is that's where they go. So yeah. right. trying to like get your feet in there and really get it moving was kind of it's tough. It was tough. You're like, you know, having a battle of the regulars. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Like, come over here. We're going to make this your new spot. Yeah. What do you think? Like kind of the biggest challenge with that was like, uh, like where you did you find this information by just, you know, talking to the people coming in or was it like, mm. We kind of dove into it. Uh, like yeah. We, yeah. we didn't really have a choice. I mean, like I said, I just quit my job, and we needed oh, a, yeah. a bar. Yeah. And that one was fairly ready to go, not turnkey. It took us about a month to get it ready, but it was by far the best option on the table. Yeah. But uh, And, we, and we didn't really have name. time to – figure out how it was going to work. We just, we we took what we could take. Yeah. yeah. Well, and we were, and and like I said, we were still, we were still in the midst, you know, the bars had to close at 10 o'clock and it was still Mm -hmm. 50% capacity. And you know, that's not a very big building. It's pretty narrow. It's pretty small. So to do that, like 10 feet of spacing and the 50% didn't really leave us with a whole lot of customer space. Yeah. You know, that makes sense. So, well, I know like, it, you know, uh, we were kind of talking about this earlier when we, when I was doing the photos for you guys, but it's like, it used to be Al's red frog, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and I think the soul of that place was really because, you know, it was him. Big the Al's soul coming left out with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it really did. You know? Well, in, in my opinion, it should have never been the red frog again. Yeah. And yeah, that was kind that. of beyond our control in that situation. But uh, good lesson, though, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. We learn more from that situation than anything else. Huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, what? How did you guys determine? Hey, uh, at this point, we're ready to just, you know, move on to the next project from that one. Like, well, how long did that <laughs> that phase? We last were on two you? different times timelines. Like, <laughs> I up and left Frog way before amy did you stayed in the trenches I well did. so you I were did. the captain that went down uh, with the yeah, ship. well yeah, kind of yeah. i i <laughs> just like, Titanic, hop, right? <laughs> i hopped on a different <laughs> ship yeah. yeah he Terrible. hopped on the one that was like sailing away and i hopped i stayed on the one that was just yeah kinda, like, he's tossing you thinking. a rope back like yeah. come off of yeah. it it's on fire yeah. burning I, and yeah. you're like hanging we out. here's I'm, your safety net too. just get in it and come on yeah just me me and a regular literally going on to rusty ranch in mechanicsville which is our third bar and it's rusty still going. ranch right yep yeah. right Very now cool. and uh that one started with a regular at the red frog and him and i closing down the bar every night and uh, from what i thought was kind of joking about buying a bar with this individual and uh, we did it <laughs> that's uh, kind of incredible. And yeah. who says that it can't be the best networking, right? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. and, well, and we went to look at this bar and when we went to look at it, I still didn't think he was serious. <laughs> and when we got the price, he's like, yeah, let's just do it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And now we're there. And thank God it, of anything we've done. I'm most happy about mechanics. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's, so it's awesome. A, it's a family. Yeah. That, it's, it's so funny because people will say all the time, like, why did you go to a small town? But it's, why not? you know, why not one and two now yeah. that we're there, it's like everybody that comes in is like family. Like we know them and we know their kids and we know some of them with their grandkids and their aunts. I mean, it's just, everybody is so, I mean, it's, it's just awesome. It's like having 1200 family members. Everybody knows you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. literally. It is. Where's Norm? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, we have a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I bet yeah. that's that's like incredible, man. Um, so okay, so you let's go on to the next bar. So now, where's the next uh, one that you guys took on, and and what was the inspiration for that one? It's on the corner of Twenty Ninth and Center Point Road, yep. Northeast Cedar Rapids, uh, block south of Blind Pig. Yep. Um. That was kind of another drunken. It was, yeah. Yeah. Our, another regular of ours at the Red Frog. This Oop. is becoming a regular occurrence uh-huh. itself. Uh, yeah. How many, and are you guys going to ever stop? No, no <laughs> yeah. probably not. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, well, you know, it's a good way to start a marriage. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but he, he always came in for lunch, and 
when I found out he had that property, I always joked around with him, well, let's make it a bar. And there was never any serious moment in that until we started Rusty Ranch. And he wanted to have lunch with us like two weeks after we opened when we're like super busy trying to. Got him excited about it. Yep. Yeah. He's like, oh, they're doing it. And he approached us and he's like, you want to do you really, really do, do it? This? I'm like, well, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, man. And I. And it, it, we bit off way more than we could chew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Seriously, that, this was our first ground up build. And that's just it's a, a whole nother level. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah. whole nother whole nother ball to chew on it's you know you go from you, you walk into these places and you look at these properties and it's like oh it's a bar it's a restaurant oh yeah okay it's gonna take us 30 yeah. days we got to flip some things around licenses that kind of stuff but this then was you, a greasy shop yeah, you, yeah. You it was a mess it, it yeah. was a car lot before yeah right? and, and shop, it was right? a it was a oil shop and i mean it was it was bad yeah so our, our other partner jason jones yeah okay. um, is yeah. awesome he you know the, this was his building it was kind of a weird idea between the three of us, like Jake said, that we just kind of were like, do we really want to do this? And I think it's awesome. It, yeah. And Cause he, it, there was nothing there when you guys probably decided, right? Yeah. Like, no, it was, it, was just it, it, was it was empty. It was vacant for yeah. about three years. So I good mean, for the community, right? Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. just, I mean, he's, he's an awesome guy. And you know, I think our ideas and our inspiration, he, he it, believed in our ability. Yeah. Based awesome. on what we were doing at the Frog. Yeah. So, I mean, it, we just... We For whatever reason. We made it happen. <laughs> we made it work. It, I mean, it was a long time coming, but, I mean, it's open now, and it's been great. And and what, what was the actual official open date that you guys had? Well, it was supposed to be last Saturday, and the reason yeah. we did that was the beer was getting delivered Friday, and I thought that would take me and everyone else most of the day. We had it all put away by like four, and Amy wanted to go home and go to bed. And I'm like, <laughs> no, well, like I we gotta, tired. we gotta make money now. Yeah. Yep. So I we opened because uh, you guys did the, like last all Friday. The awesome. So last 8 Friday. p.m. Yeah. Eight randomly, at night. I just posted just it at like 20 minutes prior, and it actually worked out really well. That's amazing, man. Worked That's out the, the kinks and creative process you know? yeah yeah it was kind of nice to open that night because mm -hmm. we were able to you know it was a good move we got the few glitches that needed Heck to be yeah. corrected one of my few good ideas before <laughs> the official opening yeah. yeah but so like you basically just threw it out on facebook right so yeah. then he did yeah uh -huh. he's so like, so like what do you think friends and stuff coming. yeah he's like what do you think if we just like make a random post and we're gonna we'll open in an hour and i'm like mm -hmm. i mean we're here let's yeah and 45 minutes later we <laughs> It mm -hmm. was full. How many? Mm -hmm. You guys had full? Yeah. Like, oh that's yeah. literally yeah, every business owner's, like, dream come mm -hmm. true. Yeah. It was great. And then Saturday was just crazy. Mm -hmm. It was from the time we opened until the time we closed, it was just nonstop. That's incredible. Which I, is great. It's probably because you guys, like, you know, you have a pretty good community, right? Yeah. Like, you we guys have, have people that support you oh yeah. both individually yep. and together. And they're like, hey, we want to see these guys kill it. Because well, and we're, we're almost 12 years apart, which kind of helps because she covers an age bracket Careful. that no, well, but seriously <laughs> she covers an age bracket that yeah. doesn't necessarily know me and vice versa right so in that way it it kind of helps yeah because the people that know her for the most part don't really know me and vice versa because we are yeah, yeah. that far there's apart. quite a bit of a gap that yep. totally makes sense man yeah. Well, and and I, I got 10 years between my wife and I, so, yeah. you know. Don't. I mean, I started I started bartending when I was 18. Yeah, so, so you know. I've got 20-plus, <laughs> I won't say how old I am, but 20-plus years in it. So, you know, and yeah. I spent my whole life bartending in Cedar Rapids. Yep. So, you know, and I've had some amazing people behind me, and it's, you know, you get certain other owners that are, you know, all for it and, you know, giving you a phone call saying, hey, this is awesome, we love it, like, I'm so proud of you. Let's do this. And so yeah. between that and everybody, I mean, I feel like I'm older than him, but he knows more people <laughs> than I do. Jake uh, knows a lot of he people. He knows everybody. Yeah. So he, it he just really does. He knows me somehow. Like I, I, don't even, I, I kind of know how that happened. Well, like those were in my darker days. Well, 
well, hey, you know, like <laughs> we can talk about it for a moment. So oh, like, I don't care. Uh, not a darker. Let's like you know. Now we got to bring some light to it. Otherwise, it's gonna be up to it people's imaginations. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. You gotta, yeah. No, it was basically like you were working. Uh, well, I actually, I think I, I knew your brother first, yep. right? He was a friend of a friend, and then I actually ended up, I think, selling your mom's house a long time ago. Yep. Uh, but then you and I probably, I think, connected mainly uh, when what was it 2000. 15 the flood relief stuff yeah and then we were out there just sandbagging yeah. hard and i remember like you had the yellow truck at the time and it oh, was like yeah. bottomed out yeah yeah and, and i don't I remember, know how that thing made it through well I, i'll tell you though from my perspective you know i had owned this company at that time uh and you know it's like you just you guys know as entrepreneurs for sure now it's like you start to recognize other people that yeah. you know have that same something inside oh, yeah. of them yeah. right? for sure and so you were one of those guys, but that was before you actually were doing anything like that. Oh, yeah, I was working at a trucking company. But but it's who you are. Like, you mm -hmm. were doing that. And so, like, we naturally kind of were out there, like, it's just cool. You're like, hey, man, you actually are trying to really make a difference and help these people. And so was I. So that yep. was, like, an awesome moment. But then you yep. connected with me, I don't know, maybe, like, a year later. And I remember you had come down to the office here, and you were just like, hey, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about that. And, yep. uh and, you know, it wasn't necessarily, like, clear how you were going to go forward, but you knew, like, where you were wasn't yeah. necessarily, like, perfect. Yeah. And so, hell, man, why don't we lead in with that? Like, so from that place, like, how did you end up, you know, getting over that hurdle, like, to then go get destroyed by a derecho, yeah. <laughs> you know, first out of the gate? Well, you missed a key point there, too. You remember the time I ran into you at the old skate park? And oh, you, yes. I you did. were on the blades. I was. I was looking the like the pipe. coolest kid from 94. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how I'm I got over the go. hurdle was her. Aww. I mean, seriously. That's like, awesome. Well, man. but the thing with her and I, yeah. she does everything I hate to do, and I, I wouldn't know how, and vice versa. Awesome. We and make a good team. Yeah. It, people there's... think we're crazy, but we make a good team. Yeah. You know, the best people yeah. usually are kind of crazy. Yeah, a mm -hmm. little uh, bit. You know, it's like you either, like, harness your crazy uh, and you make it awesome, or you end up on the street corner. So yeah. it, it's kind of a risk, but, like, well, and I think you we know, keep we, working, you get it. We balance each other out I in that so. aspect, too. Like, he's obviously a lot more ventured and travel and that kind of stuff. And, yeah. like, I like to do that, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? I've worked this many hours. I'm going to go home now. I'm going to put my pajamas <laughs> on. I'm going to binge watch my TV. Like, I'm good with that. So Just shut down. Yeah. So it's kind of nice because, like, I'm not always that person, but I'm not always like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. You know, so that's super important in a relationship yeah. anyway. Yeah. Because it's like, isn't the idea of a relationship to, like, you know, if you're good on your own, and so am I, hypothetically, yep. like, we ideally would want to, like, be better together, right? Oh, yeah. And otherwise, like, why would we want to, like, sacrifice our, yep. like, hey, we're good. Yeah. And, uh, well, and it's got to be worth it. A lot of the people who follow us and regulars at our bar, I kind of get viewed as, like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the one that works for two weeks and goes plays for one, which is true. But I always invite. That's I always invite her. Yeah. She's just. She, Amy's a closet workaholic. I am. She loves to work Love whether she are. admits it or not. Yeah. And I, when, when I'm home and I'm working, I work my butt off. But when I'm gone, I'm gone. And I love to travel. My goal is to be gone one week a month. <laughs> I think and I'm awesome. getting there well, more and more every year. I think like, you know, as an entrepreneur too, like we all deal with it differently, right? Mm -hmm. like, like I know for me, like I, I'll grind hard for like two or three weeks. Like just, yep. it's like almost like a scientist or something. Like you're just like in it and then you're like, all right, I'm burned up and I can keep going, but the quality starts to diminish yep. your work. So yep. you're like, I need to exactly. get out and reset. And then you come back like invigorated to do it again. And you know, more updated in like the way that you come yep. back and, it's better for your clients and everybody. Well, that's like she you. like she said earlier, she she deals with that with pajamas and watching. Yeah, we all got a different <laughs> way for hours Listen, and hours. If anybody oh, ever God, does friends. a friends trivia, I'm gonna kill gonna it. Kill it. Yeah, she will. She I, can do a friends trivia, trivia fifteen yeah. times. I I watch it. I 
probably every day. I like I fall asleep <laughs> to it. I'm obsessed with it. And then I deal with yeah. it just randomly, like going to New York City or something. I just I like to. <laughs> yeah, I'm when I like need you, to yeah. shut down, I like to just be alone and shut down. And yeah, that's it's like my that. peace. Yeah. So yeah. I work really hard when I work hard, and like, I mean I get tired, obviously. You know, having to human to being, a set. Yeah, it's it's human nature, but it's I like to just. I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. I don't want anyone. I don't want to like, I don't want my phone on. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to talk to you. Just yeah, I get let that. me, <laughs> let me be alone and let me just relax and kind of zen out. And, and I, it's fine that he does that. I just, there's some things that he does that I'm just like, yeah, no. Cause he's going to Colorado to climb a mountain. I don't want to climb a mountain. I'm good. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Have that's, fun. that's why you guys are good though. Cause you respect one another, yeah. you know, for, that's what makes you who you are. Right. So yeah. you're like, Hey, I actually am grateful that you like to do that because I don't have to yeah. you know, on both my sides. My idea of relaxing is yeah. not climbing a mountain at all. Like, <laughs> have fun. I don't know if I'd say <laughs> relaxing, but, uh, you know, it's my Zen. Yeah. It's, it, sends it forces me you to, to focus yeah. into a place that you can't really afford to not focus. So yeah. it's like, you have to be, yeah true with yourself at that moment to well but i'm weird that way i can have just as much on a mountain in Cal colorado as i do in manhattan like yeah i'm not a country guy or a city guy i love it all that's good man i'm, I'm really similar to that too i love uh i think there's it's kind of like music right it's like yeah there's beauty and and value in all of it but it's just kind of like you know you you're the thing that's always changing. So you're like, yep. how, 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 if I'm listening to this music, that's kind of where I'm at, right? Or if I'm listening to that, that's yeah. kind of maybe it where I'm it's at. It's your mood. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. How do you feel about things? Yeah. Man? That's cool. Well, hey, let's bring it back to the uh, loose chain again. Um, yeah. So this particular bar uh, is inspired for cyclists, right? Correct. Yep. So was that kind of part of the collaboration that you guys had with your, is it a partner that you yeah, guys have Jason. on this? Yep. Jason? Not um, really. It was more the location. I think, yeah. It was just an obvious, it's not it's even a block choice. off of the main trail here in town. It is a perfect location. Yeah. It was uh, just real estate guy. The <laughs> obvious move. It, Hell yeah. you know, it just made sense. It just, you know, fit. when they, when they come over the bridge right there. And the, the thing I like about cyclists is they tend to like, craft beers and going out on a limb with what they're drinking which allowed me being the beer guy <laughs> to get creative and to try everything whether I liked it or not yeah and uh I continue to do that every day I did it right before I came here but figure out what you don't like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. but it not mechanicsville Small town people, they love their bush light, which is great. But the cyclists want their differences. They, Everybody likes something a little different, and they all love local. And that opened a lot of floodgates to explore. Yeah. yeah, Awesome. What do you guys think you saw the most of uh, there? I know you've only been open a short time, I know. But what are you guys um, feeling like the trend is the, looking like? As of now, the really big surprise, I mean, Easy Eddie is obviously a big name in Iowa mm -hmm. and growing every day. Uh, it's a good name, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. The big surprise has been Contrary, a little brewery out of Muscatine run by two guys and their Irish red is phenomenal. Very if you're cool. a beer guy and you're listening. Go try it. I just got a fresh keg, by the way. Yeah, it's amazing. Boom. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. And I love their story. They're they're running a whole brewery with two dudes. Awesome. Just man. phenomenal. And he and he took like it's like the right brothers for beer. Yes. <laughs> right. And he took five hours out of his day to come meet me. And I'm like, we're gonna rotate a tap for you guys because it's just that's really a cool neat. story. Yeah. It's the people, you know, and that's yeah. what we're doing here. It's yeah. like, hey, it's the people that you're connected to that you're yep. dealing with. And it's like, hey, there's incredible value. Like every thought, every moment that those people have had to create that brew. Yep. All of a sudden now, like, you know them and that's running through a tap line and you're serving it to the cyclists. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's and it's so going awesome. way better than I yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> the thing is selling. Well, and it's Good, really man. cool, too, because like. Very cool on not you know more so on the customer base now it's you know you have these cyclists that come in and 
they'll sit there and they'll talk to you and be like, man, I, I rode my bike by here every day. I've been watching your progress. I've been yeah. watching what you've been doing, and we've been so excited. And so it's kind of cool to. Because you don't think s- about that when no, you're you in don't. the heat. You're like, this no. is greasy and gross. Yeah, this is so gross. I'm so tired of this. I just want it to be open. But then they come in and they're like, you know, we've been wa- we watched it when the sign came up and we knew it was coming. It was getting close. And, you know, they sit there and they tell you. And it's like, wow. Well, so these guys. Are, it means know, something to yeah, somebody. Like they have been watching. Like they knew when we put our sign up. They yep. knew when, when the garage doors went in. So, it's, I mean, it's just cool to know that all these people in that area, you know, have been paying For attention. Sure. And yeah. have been watching and have been excited about it. And yeah. It's like the universe is like pushing you to like do it for everybody else. Too. Yeah, like you here know. it comes. Here Total well, harmony. The cool thing about a bar like this is going back to the beer thing, Crunchberry out of Lion Bridge, which is right across the river from here. Yep. Lion it's Bridge selling awesome crazy. Yeah. Like, Crunch and berry. what we're doing, it's so <laughs> oh, what God. we're doing is oh, man, selling so many other local businesses products. Yeah. You know, and it, it just grows and grows. Quentin and Anna, right? Yeah. Yep. We try to keep our we try to keep our craft or our beer lines all local. Local? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. We do as much local as we can. It, you Eight know, that's the community, right? right? Yep. It's like, hey, if you can do that, I think the the cool thing about that is like it's like beer's one of those things where if you can do that and you're fortunate enough to have, you know, enough good breweries around to yeah. do it. Yep. It's yeah. like shit, man, why well, not? We, yeah. Well I was flooded with great craft breweries. Yeah, it's, it's, we had it's just incredible. Happened, though, like in the last probably five or ten years. Yeah. yeah. Think, well, or? and the funny thing is who we talked to right before we came and met you is Millstream out of Amana. Yeah, they got it. They have been a craft brewery for decades right and everybody's like oh millstream well they've been doing it for so long and all of a sudden all these other breweries yeah. start it, it's great. it's definitely a new thing yeah. they're the og yeah but yeah. they are the og well and we talked uh-huh. to our they're uh, good at it our reunion rep came in too yeah uh, before we yep. came in and he was tell he was talking about his amber beer that's coming out or that's out that they have and I didn't know, and apparently it's been out for a long time, but I didn't know that they had a contract with the Iowa growers. They get mm-hmm. their corn for that beer from Vinton. Oh, yep. exactly. So even even the that corn that's even going better. into it is, is, all is here. local. It's Iowa all Brown. here. Yep. Yeah. So why wouldn't you want to drink it? You know, you're yep. not only supporting your farmers, but you're supporting your brewery. You're supporting your local establishment that's Absolutely. selling it. Like, it's it's a win-win for everybody. Yep. That is that's super cool when you yeah. can source it all the way like full circle that way. And I think like, you know, we've we've kind of come into a time where it's like, you know, Amazon and let's say all these you know online things. It's like it's all great, you know, but at the same time, it's kind of like a rubber band, right? Like you go all the way and say, hey, this is awesome that all these luxuries and like ease of use things exist. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, wait a minute, like we're not giving credit to you know our local environment right. also yep. so then it like comes back and now like what you guys are doing kind of uh is really cool because it's it's beer so it is all local and we're a farm state uh we grow things here because the ground is incredibly fertile in iowa yep. for the yeah. most part although we've had some droughts this year a little bit but yeah. it's a little dry out there it is but hey it's it's part of the crazier picture going on I yeah. guess everywhere. yeah yeah so that's awesome man um so are you guys planning on doing any like events or anything that you want to promote? Uh, we got uh, two. Well, Daddy O is just Sunday. Got another Daddy-O, one on August. Daddy O, for the people that don't know, is a uh, Dennis McMurrin, awesome guitarist, rock and roll Hall of Famer. He's he incredible. is a freaking yeah. legend. I've seen him. I love that guy. Yeah. He's Keith Richards times two, in my opinion. Yeah, he killed it He's on Sunday. Man. It was fantastic. I see Daddy. Uh, I remember seeing him a long time ago. Yeah. Like, uh, I've seen him a lot of times, but like, I remember one time I was like, this is probably like freaking 15 years ago, but I remember I was like in Iowa City. And he was playing at the, uh, I think it was the Yacht Club. Yeah. And he's like downstairs. And this guy was just sweating. And he's just like got his guitar behind his back. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, and he's an older dude. So you're just, but you see the music flowing through him. And he's just wild. He's a natural. Yeah. And and you're just like, God, that's, that dude's. I've known him since I was a, a baby. Legend, man. Yeah. It's really cool, man. Yeah, he's. he's but good. we got, uh, we got two bands booked. One August 6th. Yep. One David Lee the Schroeder. 26th. Yep. Uh, Chad Johnson, Joey, 
Very we cool. we got started in midsummer, which is a really brutal time to try to book music acts. I'm working at it every day, but well, hey, that's okay. You at don't this even point, have to every have them. exactly. You know what I mean? We're so fresh, we don't even really need it yet. You guys could just throw like a comedy act and then yeah. fill the gap. <laughs> but, but, uh, just uh, yeah, just <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Let's get your microphone. Yeah, <laughs> let, let me just tell give them some twenty stories. beers and throw them up there. It'd be a great time. Yep. Oh, I bet you it would be. <laughs> you wouldn't have to hire anybody. No. Yeah, you might have a career there. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Look, I work with it. I live with it. I'm good. It. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to – I honestly, like, could probably sit here and talk to you guys for, like, another hour easily at least. Yeah. But I don't want to, like – you know, I'm just starting to get this thing going, so I don't want to, like, make it too long. No, I love this. This is awesome. It's Thank you. We should yeah. definitely do a follow-up one, too, once I get some of the uh, – Well, and we're not done yet. Yeah, there, sure. There's yeah. another bar coming. Okay. I don't want to. Can you give uh, us any teasers? Uh, you don't have to. Potentially. <laughs> it's north <laughs> of town. Okay. How far And it north? involves amazing chicken. <laughs> Fair enough. I think I might have an idea, but I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah, yeah. no. we do, yeah. Uh, it's, and we, it's far from a uh, done ta- deal, but hatched. it's yeah. been <laughs> talked about. Yeah. Awesome, man. But we only want to do one more. Like, so one more question about that. Like, uh, so with you guys doing all these, like, are you guys doing partners with like all of them or are you guys just so taking this all, trying to like strong arm this or just mechanicsville, we're going to end up owning outright building business, everything. Yeah. Uh, loose chain, our third partner owns the building. We have a deal with him. We're pretty much equal partners, three of us. Uh, our last one, I would prefer to have it outright ours, but who knows, you know, if someone comes along and says they want to be a part of it, we're, we're always open eared. Yeah. Sometimes it's cool. nice to have that yeah. third well, perspective. Yeah. To, yes. You know, cause you guys I mean, are like, you know, in it. So it's like, oh yeah. Yeah. totally I get that. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine that it's like. You know, I, I know for me, it's like your head just gets so full and then you're like, we got to go climb a mountain, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know, or, you know, watch friends for hours. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. And so it's like nice to have partners so you can be like, all right, I need to tap out for a couple minutes. Ah. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we've, you know, we've had amazing people and, and our right now everything is running strong. Everything is good. And, you know, I would say we really couldn't be more blessed at this moment. Yeah. And That's an incredible attitude. Yeah. Well, okay, so if there's one thing that you were going to say, and this is where it's like I'm trying to, like, get everybody that's doing cool shit like this to pass (laughs) the buck, right? Okay. It's like there's a moment where you came into my office a long time ago, and I'm like, hey, you know, these things are hard. Yeah, I didn't try to tell you what to do. I just tried to give you my perspective on, you know, what it was I was experiencing as a guy moving some heavier stuff than you were at the time. What would you say to anybody who's thinking about, you know, going out on their own and and just doing anything like that? Like what advice, you know, to to move forward and get out of your kind of comfort zone, I guess? You know, I guess the way that I would put it coming from the way I look at it, um, being in the business as long as I was, it was always kind of hard for me to be like, okay, I'm working so hard and I'm watching these people just live the best life that I'm working for. And Mm -hmm. I always wanted to do it. I just never had the ability to because I didn't have a partner until I met him. And then it was just kind of like we jumped in. Um, But just do it. You can't, if if you see something or you wanted to do something, whether it's a small business or going back to school and getting a degree that, you know, you never thought you could get, it can suck and it can Mm -hmm. be really, really hard. But just do it because oh, in yeah. the long run when you look back and it might take a year it might take two years three years you know you might have some downfalls like obviously we did with the ratio um but look at where we are now but you yeah. guys made it you know we made it and now you know we're got two bars in possibly another we're getting married we have a beautiful family you know just incredible yeah mm-hmm. jump in both feet go for it do it Learn to fly on Learn, the way down. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And yeah. piggybacking on that, like she was already entrenched in this, but with, with the 
hiring climate and how short everybody seems to be with right. workforce, let's take a shot. The worst That's thing true. the worst thing that could happen is it doesn't work out and there's a ton of jobs available. Like That's a good point. And I and I, I when when I that. took the shot, it was opposite. There was right. not like I was gonna do this and it's gonna work or I'm screwed. Yeah, much. no, I totally and feel that. now I mean, now is kind of a good time to take a shot, regardless of what venture you're looking at, because you have a hell of a bounce back. I mean, everybody needs help. And I think that everybody I think also like to even go further on that, like, I think, you know, it's like we all get really used to watching the news and it's like all just crap. Like if you just turn that on, you already caught a psychic (laughs) virus, (laughs) you know, like so turn it off. And what it comes down to, though, is like, you know, what you guys are doing is like more closely aligned with who you actually really are. Right. So it's like you're not really I mean, you're going to work, but you're like you're doing. I love it every day. Yeah. It's like you're not just plugging in and being like, oh, my God, when is my somebody, you know, take me out because I can't handle another day of X. It's like so maybe that's important, too. It's like, hey, everything's tough. It's tough to sit there and hate what you do. It's tough to grow. It's tough to like learn, but which you know struggle do you prefer, right? Well, right? and yeah. that that's a great point. I I sat in a cubicle for eight years, and then before that, I was three years in a warehouse. Oh, yeah. And looking back, I don't know how the hell I did it. Yeah. Like I could never imagine even a week of not having my own control yeah. of yeah. what's going on. And if someone's listening out there that's got that mindset, like I'm just going nuts doing what I'm doing for somebody else yeah. or some big, you know, Walmart or whatever, just go do it. Like, I, I feel like there's so much fear that's driven mm-hmm. more or less by the media. People are watching too much TV. Yeah. <laughs> Like, watch some more South Park and follow <laughs> fo- follow Randy Marsh because yeah. he might seem insane, but, like, just take a shot. Take the opportunity. And, and sp- especially in this climate. Like, Maybe even, like even if it doesn't work, you're going to find another job. Self-trust, right? Well, you know? and, you know, I have, to yeah. give, I have to give credit to one person. Um, absolutely. And I, I worked for him for a really long time, and I absolutely loved it. And it, Ryan Evans. Yep. He owns. Great dude. Yeah. He owns Peddlers, Blind Pig, Cocktails. Okay. He has the new Blind Pig in Monticello. Oh, so nice. I actually did dental for 14 years. I worked in a dental office. Oh, wow. And I bartended, obviously, on the weekends and on the side. And he, I was working for him. And he said to me one day, he said, what would it take for you to quit your full-time job and come manage for me? And I thought about it, and I told him, and I walked in to my job that next day and put my two-week notice in, and from that point on, I never looked back. Yep. Just make the leap of faith. Yep, and I made that leap of faith, but it was awesome. only because he saw the potential in me yeah. at that time, and he believed in me, and I, you know, what, what could go wrong? If it doesn't work, I go back to dental, you know? I had sure. the degree, I could have done it, but I just, I fell in love with that aspect of what I was doing, and it was what I really always wanted to do. I just never had somebody to push me over the It's nice to have that. Yeah. I I feel like, you know, like, there's a lot of, like, different books out there and stuff that you read, but, like, there's a really awesome book called The Alchemist that I just love. It's, like, one of my favorite books, and it's basically, like, a a boy who's, like, traveling and following this thing called his personal legend. Okay. And so it basically is just, like, this kid like going he had a dream and then he ends up like it's like a lot of metaphors about him like traveling through the desert but like he worked at a crystal shop for a while uh and the thing is it's like there's always uncertainty and you never know how it's going to go but everything that you learn along the way becomes a part of that path and so it's like you know you there's all these little signs like you know the universe or God or whatever c- comes through this guy to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it Ryan Evans? Uh, yep. yep. And so then, you know, you all of a sudden have a, a chance to say yes or no. You don't have to do it, but you said yes. Right. So now look at where that yet one yes took 
both of you guys. Now yeah. you guys are engaged. Like, yeah. what if that never happened? You know, yeah. like yeah. follow the Who knows intuition where we would you be. have. Yeah, he could still be sitting in a cubicle oh and. God. <laughs> Isn't that wild though? I'm I could still be looking decision. at teeth every day. I mean, you never yeah. know. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, which you know, it's like not that any of those are right or wrong, but like you know, you guys seem to have found a good, you know, stride. So you know, there is no certainty in life. So it's like, oh. don't wait until tomorrow. Just don't um, wait till it's too late. Or, yeah, you but know? you don't know when that is. You don't. You know? So take take that take that leap Roll of faith. Roll the dice. Roll it. A- absolutely. And for you too, it's like, you know, think about if you're in your cubicle. You don't have the freedom and flexibility to be like, hey, I'm going to send out a Facebook post. I know we're not supposed to be open today, but guess what? We have a full house. Yeah. And usually, you know, the guy sitting in the cubicle is trying to help, you know, make more money for a business. Oh, yeah. But guess what you did? You used your intuition, who you well, are, you, and you made money. So it's like, and this is probably going to resonate point, right? with a lot of people listening. But what used to drive me nuts is if I, you know, and I had an infant kid back then. Mm-hmm. If I'm four minutes late, I got talked to about it. Right. You know what? I want to have the ability to be four minutes late. Right. Because <laughs> you're more than <laughs> and it just takes like a ton of work yeah. to get there. But it's so worth it to have personal freedom to be like, you know what? I'm gonna the go alarm to my kid's goes lunch off. today. Yeah. What's that? You know, it's like, I'm going to go yep. have lunch, lunch with, with my, my kid, kid at, school at school today. Absolutely. You know, you have you, that freedom to do those things. Piggybacking on that, yeah. picking my kid totally up right. from school. Like, I never got the ability. He always went to daycare after school because I was nine to five. Yeah. That is such a huge thing. Like, when I finally got to the point where I could pick him up up and take him it was like a game changer think about that, from his those perspective simple now. yes like every and those time you simple picked little him up, things gonna, just change that makes better for him. like it just drives you so hard hey and this isn't any you know put down for anybody doing a nine to five or anything like oh that. no no absolutely not, not at all i just like thought i'm like i better like throw that out there yeah no absolutely Everybody's and honestly it works spot. yeah and it and works for some people yeah some people right. You know, some people prefer that because with that steady, steady. Yep. Yeah. We're and with what different. we're doing, we're not nine to five. We are 24 <laughs> seven. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's Double-edged always it, it e- is. even when I'm climbing mountains, I'm answering emails. You know, it's uh, you know, it's that's not insane. A, it's, yeah, <laughs> like, climbing a mountain. I've oh, got I'm two sure hands on the mountain. It's going to headset. I'm just teasing that. No, that's that's the thing. It's like it's all on you. So like, mm-hmm. if you don't get up uh, in the There's morning, you downside, have problems. Like, you're gonna not it. make it. But yeah, yeah. sometimes you know, and totally. it, it is definitely worth it. But th- there are moments in life where you know you do go, oh my god, I just wish my phone would stop ringing, or I wish mm-hmm. they would, you know. Oh, totally. Yeah. It, so Different you're right. It is, it is a double edged sword, but you yeah. know, and, and everybody everybody Everyone's has different. their own idea of what is perfect for them, and this is just the situation that's path. perfect for us absolutely so. and you know it's like by you guys honoring your path it's like you know something i think about is like you know when you're not honoring that path like think about like just how unhappy you are mm-hmm. right like just unconsciously like you don't even have to like know it you just know there's like this cloud of mm, of like you don't even get it yep. but but you know you think about how that cloud might affect uh, somebody you don't know at the gas station right. or yep. not. Now you guys get to go out and radiate, you know, a better Good vibe vibes. to the community yep. because yeah. you are who you are for better or for worse. Yep. That's right. And that's the most important thing I think, you know, for, for, sure. for all of us. So cool on that. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, and again, uh, thank fun. you guys so much yeah, for coming awesome. in. Thank you. And, uh, it's yeah, been too long, out. man. I know this is the best excuse <laughs> in the world to connect with people. Cause it's like yeah. meaningful, you know? So, all right, everybody, have an awesome day. Yeah, thank you. You too.